Anthony don't even talk. That's right. If you not doing We don't that. get out. The new Black Panther Party been getting out for decades. Since Dr. Khaled Muhammad, no. since, since, since Aaron Michaels, we've been out there. And, you know, this, that's why I'm talking about people directly, black people. If we don't do nothing, nobody else going to do nothing for us. So black power. We, we can't be ashamed to say black power. Black power. Black, black power. black power, hopefully, is the probably the strongest power we can give in conjunction of the dominant white supremacist culture in this in this country for 400 years. Right. Native Americans matter too. So so we gotta we gotta always come from the standpoint we got a right to defend our interests, not to be attacked and killed and murdered by these police pigs. Even if we gotta defend ourselves, so be it. And we can't be ashamed or afraid to say that if you are, you ain't standing up for your people. Dylan Roof slaughtered over nine black people in the church. Killing, killing black Tamir Rice in a play in a, in a playground, little black boy in a playground, in a carry state, in a carry state. You see, so we gotta realize what's going on. I don't care about these white people being out here. You know, I mean, if they sincere, I'm gonna give them what they got. But, but don't, don't get it off. Don't, don't try to dictate to how black people fight their own struggle. That's my point. Exactly. That's my point. Don't try to dictate to us. Right. 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 Look, we're gonna come from black power, no matter who don't like it or not. part of the people when he f up the, the, the Black Panther Party, the new Black Panther Party, period of the cry, you know, in conjunction, wait, wait, Black wait, Power. Wait, 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 hold on. Can I say something for a second, please? Yeah. So, yeah. all of us are out here for a reason. We have police yeah. brutality going on. Yeah. Yes. We're recognizing it in our African-American community in specific. Yeah. Yes. Everybody's life out here matters, and all of your support means the world yes. to me and everybody else. Yes. Yes. I am from Shreveport, Louisiana. This me. Right? Me too. Okay, so this hits me right. at home. Understand every life and every man that is out here right now is making a stand for all black yes. people, all white people. It doesn't matter what the color you are. Nobody deserves to be slain now. We're not asking. Hey, bro, just squeeze the trigger. Squeeze the trigger and talk. Squeeze the trigger and talk, bro. We're not asking. We're not asking for a special treatment. Nobody's out here screaming for reparations. We're asking to not be slain in the street. It's very simple. At the same time, we're not giving up our right to reparations. Hold on, brother. I gave, I, yeah. I gave you a moment. So instead of us being out here right now and taking this time to sit here and say, well, this is about black people or this is about NDP, this is about everybody. This is about every person's life out here. It could be your husband, it could be your wife. I have three-year-old nieces and nephews, and I have to make this stand because if I don't stand and I don't try to do something, whether it's standing out here and asking for questions from my black president or asking for the answer to why this is still happening. This is something that we all have to do and standing here and trying to find one side is not the way. We're here unified because we all want to find a way. Not a way for just black people. Not a way for just black people. We want to find a way for all people. But unfortunately, right now, the issue that we are seeing Alton, the 116th black man that has been persecuted wait, by wait, the police wait, this when, year. When, when I am killed, will you then have a hashtag for me? Yes! If something were to happen, if something were to happen, if something were to happen, I want to live! I want to live! Ma'am, 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 if something were to happen to you, I do, first of all, I am happy. First of all, I am happy, Native American. No, Please stop screaming. Please stop screaming. Like, that is not the point. Cool. Come on, stop screaming. Just to be clear, I am half Native American. Don't be out on stage. Actually, I do sympathize with you. I am half Native American. I am half Native American. I understand that. I want to live. I want to live. Can I say that? I want to live. I deserve to live. We are all out here for one purpose, and I want you all to remember that. That is to save the life of your neighbor and your friend. You are your mother.
no other purpose. No, save the life of your neighbor. If you are here, that is your purpose. If you are white, black, Gentile, Indian, I am half Native American. Okay, let us sit talk. I love you all. Let me go home, brother. Let me go home. Speak from the heart, Queen. Speak from the heart. I am from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Hey! Right. I went to McKinley Senior High School. Talk I went to heart. Southern University. I go to Southern. I go to Southern. Historically black college and university. HBCU. It's probably weak anyway. The battery's weak. The battery's weak. The problem is more than just the fact that injustice has happened. The problem is that some people don't view it as injustice. The problem is that some people, some yes. white people don't get that they have privileges that I don't. That's right. They don't know what it feels like to walk into a store and be profiled. They don't know what it feels like to not get something because I am a minority. What I want my white brothers and sisters out here to know is that I'm happy you're standing with us. Yes. Right. But I want you to reach out to your friends who don't see the injustice and show it to them. Yeah. Because as, me, as many times as I've tried to explain it, they don't understand it when I explain it. But if you can explain it to them, they'll understand it. Mm -hmm. We can't just sit here and protest. We have to unify. That's right. We have to bring it together. Yes. We have to make plans. Yes. So when you leave here today, my call to each and every one of you is to tell somebody else what is really going on. Tell someone who's not out here what the problem is. Yeah. Let it. Come on, Green Square. Come on, you do you. Come on, say something. Say something strong. Come on, okay. Okay. My name is Abuche. I go to Mizzou. Um, I want to say, <laughs> I want to say that the problem, okay, yes, the problem is the police. However, like, we have to remember that, we have to remember that the police live in our society. They live under our system. Like, how can you expect people who are raised in a racist, prejudiced society to not hold that within themselves? It's kind of like our government is giving ordinary but people guns to police. Them. But it's, it's like, they have, but it's kind of like, I'm not, I'm not saying that, like, it's like they, they do, they do, it's, it's a reflex, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not yeah, saying that it's correct or it's right. We live in a racist society, so it's only correct that yeah. it's not correct, but it's, not, it's, a, it's a result of our society that... Right. Here's the thing, what, what happens a lot of times is we get, we get these veteran police officers who come out of warlike situations. They're trained to kill black and brown people overseas. And then they get in communities. They have no desire, no passion to police. And then when they see you exercising your right and you have a gun that you're registered to have and you can carry it in your state according to the law, you're a, a, a law-abiding citizen, they still kill you because they've been trained to do it. We, you want to talk about what we need to do? We need to take back the police force because it's the biggest gang in America. All right, let me say, let me say something. At the same time, the exoneration of the three officers so far, it looks like it's going on four in the Freddie Gray case in Baltimore. That's another problem that's symptomatic. They keep exonerating and let the officers go and keep letting them, that's sending a, a message to our police or we can shoot black people anytime we get good and ready and there ain't gonna be no repercussions behind it. Black lives matter, black lives matter, black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black Lives Matter organization itself. 
any, 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 any representatives or any spokesmen, anybody who want to speak, right. say something about him. Okay, keep it, yeah. keep it within good taste and in context, please. Well, I will take my microphone back. Thank you. <laughs> the first the first guy, you can't say I, I discriminate against my first white guy. Okay. Yeah, so, so I, I'm here for two reasons. First time. I'm here as a white man that doesn't have to worry about this. Yes, I'm here as a white man that can walk back to his hotel tonight and not worry that somebody's going to stop me and not worry that somebody's going to pull me over just because I'm walking. The second reason I'm here is that there are 10,000 teachers here in Washington, D.C. this week for the National Education Convention. And we have spent a lot of time this week. We have spent a lot of time this week talking about the understanding and the realization that there is institutional racism in this country and that we have a responsibility to be teaching. We have a right, we have a privilege to teach and we have a responsibility to teach that it exists, that it keeps people down, not for anything they've done, simply for the color they were born and that is wrong and it needs to be changed and we want your help getting that message out. So anything you can do, we will be part of. Yes, 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 that sending children away from school. We want justice. 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 We want just